Alright, well today I have uh, basically finished my new high voltage transformer. This is from the 1980s microwave. Um, got the nice transformer here. I think it is about 4,000 volts. Here is the tag. Um, Advanced Transformer Co. Um, I think I looked their website up and now they're Philips. Um, and, you know. Let me zoom in there so you can see the numbers and everything. Alright. And it's, for its size, it's surprisingly heavy. It's about 25 pounds. Um, but here's the primary, and there's the high voltage secondary. And over here, the 120 comes in here, and the high voltage output comes out here. Now, one thing interesting about this one, it has two uh, outputs. Um, I don't know why they had this. I was I connected both of them together to see if it was like two coils um, in the whole second tree, but it's not. If I like touch that one to that one or something, it kind of shorts out and doesn't do much. Um, any information on that would be greatly appreciated. It's kind of interesting. I was hoping it would like double the voltage, but it doesn't do anything like that. Um, and then this wire, red wire, goes up to the capacitor and the output. I don't have an automatic capacitor discharge for this. Um, though I might make a separate uh, device that I can use on all my things that just is for testing that discharges capacitors automatically. And the high voltage wires go up to here to my high voltage insulators that I made. <coughs> These are made out of half inch PVC and I think uh, mm, one and a half inch nylon washers with some bolts and aluminum uh, lug nuts, mechanical lugs, I mean, for electrical. And then what I like really like a whole lot about this is I have made it for a carrying handle. Obviously this is a lot smaller than my other one, so I kind of call it my travel size transformer. Um, this is just a square U-bolt. And I can lift it up by that. I was having a really hard time figuring out how I was going to attach it to these because they would kind of didn't fit on this. So I figured out that I would take a piece of channel um, aluminum and just drill some holes in there. And then you can see a bolt back under there. And that's just bolted that way. Um, and it works quite well. And I just have this capa uh, capacitor zip tied and it's uh, in there quite well. So um, I'll make a video in a few minutes uh, showing how it works and just drawing some more arcs on it. Mm -hmm.